Ashutosh Mishra of India Today joins us right now. Do tell us, Ashutosh, what is the state of pollution in Delhi and the information that is coming in with regard to the cloud seeding. We know that the efforts are ongoing, but the moisture is low. Yes, uh, moisture was uh, as low as 20% uh, as far as humidity level in the clouds are concerned, you heard the minister. And the data analysis is very critical and, and crucial. Remember, uh, China was the first country to develop this technology of the cloud seeding during Beijing Olympics. And over the years, they have been uh, uh, evaluating their data and carrying out such operations. Uh, subsequently, UAE, one of the country which has this expertise of not only cloud seeding by using uh, planes, drones, uh, small rockets, uh, or even uh, large uh, cannons. Uh, in fact, 20 2023 and 2024, I remember when the similar experiments were done in Lahore, Lahore, Peshawar, Rawalpindi, Karachi, when the AQI gone up to uh, 1200, uh, breaching literally all bars. Uh, and during that time, 46 to 48 flares were used. So when I heard the minister saying it was only eight flares, so it was easy to understand that this is a second trial. And he clearly said that this is a second trial in six pocket. In fact, I'm in Clot Place, and right exactly one right behind me at few kilometer in Mayur Vihar pocket where the seeding was done and clearly the impact is also depend on the moisture humidity level and the wind speed if there is a wind speed some more likely you know the impact will be a minimum however there is no wind speed so clearly the rain could be felt in certain areas it may not be as heavy rain as we see during the monsoon and another right behind me in the Karol Bagh pocket out of six uh, uh, for the second trial run and you heard the minister the data analysis of the second trial because it was a VFR technology that was used which is called a visual flight record the visual flight record eventually is needed uh, because then you need a clear sky you need a clear uh, atmosphere subsequently from the axis to the land the pilot should be able to see everything visually and very clearly so that's the another pocket in Karol Bagh where uh, the cloud seeding was done and after obtaining the data uh, it will be analyzed that uh, usually off monsoon says the monsoon is on offset how exactly the telematrics work with regards to the moisture that is available in the cloud if there is a western disturbance approaching why these 28 29 uh, 27 28 29 were chosen because of a uh, western himalaya uh, western disturbance was approaching that was for making a cloud formation eventually last evening and this morning was predicted by med department for a possible rain and where a possible rain you need a dense cloud with the humidity but eventually the moisture lost up to 20 percent and when this trial was carried out in fact there is something i'm not sure whether it's a rain but i could feel something i'm not exactly sure about whether it's actually a rain but then something uh, could be felt in the pockets of where the seeding is done now remember why it takes time if there is a cloud humidity up to 60 to 70 percent you will see the impact within 15 to 20 minutes sometimes it even takes 30 minutes to 60 minutes so that's the duration depend on the moisture and of course the wind speed so all these tests done the third data will be analyzed and you heard the minister the larger preparation will be done up to carry out the similar operations at a great scale till the month of February because now you will see the harvesting of the uh, uh, you know their crop residue burning in in Karachi in uh, Peshawar uh, in Peshawar Lahore Rawalpindi all these areas and when the northern winds come toward this side it will bring all the residue burning smog further towards the northern part of India subsequently stubble burning will still take place in Haryana, in Western Uttar Pradesh, in Punjab. So the wind direction and wind speed will also be a significant factor when the smog will get thicker further in the Delhi and Sahara. It's not a respite, a respite yet. We are still breathing in a very poor to severe zone. Morning often we see the Delhi bordering areas and perhaps NCR becomes one of the most polluted. So this second trial makes it significant in terms of analyzing the data that how effecting, effective this technology will be. If I could tell you that Beijing Olympics onwards, uh, the China have been been uh, uh, projecting small rockets they've been using large cannon to uh, fire uh, you know the chemical like uh, silver iodide potassium iodide and when there is a great humidity like you are in a near coastal areas then they also use sodium chlorides so forming those you know uh, uh, that that eventually helpful uh, for the artificial rain so these technologies are effective but that will depend upon the data as far as india uh, you know cloud seeding is concerned this is not the first time we have seen it in experiment in maharashtra this has been in karnataka in several states 
but first time now india worldwide becomes third such country to carry out artificial rain to con uh, to contain smog after china and pakistan but uh, as far as smog is concerned india is using this technology very first time from the visual flight right. these regulations absolutely the and flight. in delhi people will be ha have having their eyes glued to the skies to see whether this brings fruit or not whether this brings rain or not remember it takes almost 50 to 60% moisture for it to rain so we'll be keeping our eyes peeled